Hi, my name is Kayla Hay, and I'm in the creative writing degree here at Full Sail. And for my project assignment, I decided to interview Whitney Lovett, who works at Ant Magazine. And the first question that I asked her is, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in our mass-mediated world, and particularly in your profession? And she answered with, Art always plays a role in mass media world. Before there was television, newspapers, or books, art was the way people told stories and explained their views. From this, I believe our mass mediated world is incredibly influenced from visual art. As a journalist and writer, I get a lot of influence from art pieces that tell stories of their own, like art from Banksy. With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that having that this having a positive or negative Im influence on the industry? I believe imagery is a positive influence on the industry. Sometimes when words are not enough, images can help get the point across. This is a difficult one, though. I think a lot of art pieces from Van Gogh to Monet, Monet to Banksy all have positive influences on the industry. I can't think of just one. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment history? She replied with, There are so many popular images that are rechanneled throughout the entertainment history. I feel like the Mona Lisa and the famous paintings like The Scream are some that I've seen quite often. The Scream has made a big impact on media. The costume used in the horror movie title, ironically, Scream, is based off the painting. It also has been used in The Simpsons and Doctor Who TV shows. I have also seen several artists use a similar drawing, like in Gary Larson's The Howl, which shows a dash hound doing howling instead of the face we know to be screaming. What are particular images that this industry has popularized and or created? I feel like in politics a certain type of art was created during the last campaign election when Obama was elected. There was a shepherd's fairy who created the, the Hope poster. The poster became the poster because ironic and has art since then copied it. Well actually the Obama Foundation recently sued Shepherd's Fairy, the maker of the Hope poster, because they believe Fairy copied them. So what do you think about that? Well actually, I didn't know that. It's ironic that they would sue him if he actually did create the art on his own because I think in the end the Hope poster helped in the Obama campaign. The posters were plastered everywhere and it made such a stir that everyone, those not even interested in politics, knew who Obama was before he became president. I feel like in politics a certain type of art was created during the last campaign election. When Obama was elected, there was Shepard Sperry, who created the, the Hope Post. Who is your favorite visual artist and or what is your favorite style of visual art? Salvador Dali's artwork is, a cr is crazy in a good way. There's so much fantasy and imagination in his art that it isn't hard to look at it and have several ideas fly into your thoughts. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influences your creative art process? Do you think of certain art pieces that help rid of your writer's block? I think it helps a lot. Whenever I have writer's block, visual arts is helpful to think about. With so many different types of art, it helps to stimulate my thought process and really helps me think outside of the box.